What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty. Back in the building, back in the sneaker room, back bring you a different video. Last video, we hit you off with the comparison. The red metallic phones, the 2012 joints and the 2017. I did a comparison for phones. Now I only got that many phones in the collection. But what I do have, I have a lot of fly knit shoes. So let's talk about fly knit shoes. I'm a sucker for fly knit. I prefer my basketball shoes to be fly knit. I prefer my best comfortable shoes, or Nike shoes rather, to be fly knit. So what is fly knit? Fly knit is made out of polyester. Which is crazy, right? Because you throw polyester in the wash and it shrinks. It's like a polyester yarn, is from what I'm gathering. It is lightweight, form-fitting, and virtually seamless. That's right, no hems, no seam. Apparently, it is a lot more durable. It also reduced manufacturer waste based on the amount of material used. So it saved a lot of material going to the trash. I think the article I read said it reduced about 2%. Oh no, it says that Flyknit is also about 2% lighter than your traditional materials that they made for other shoes. They use Flyknit across multiple shoes. And I'm gonna discuss some of the shoes because I have it here in my collection. So with further ado, before I keep rambling on, let's get into these shoes. First up, we got the Air Force One Fly Knits. These are the pepper joints, the black and white. Love these shoes. And they're extremely, extremely comfortable. And that's because they got this engineer for everyday, all day comfort. These insole does make a big deal. But this shoe also make a big deal, man. This fly knit is very close in structure, sturdiness. And that's why you probably feel in the back heel have a support column in the back. Even though this is predominantly wrapped and fly knit, but some fly knits are looser than others. This is an Air Force One. Very, very lightweight, man. This shoe is super, super light. Then they put some added touches by putting the leather or pleather, whatever you want to call it, throughout the shoe to give it a little bit of character. You got on the swoosh, the tongue the back heel, and yeah. If I'm gonna wear Air Force Ones, I gotta wear the fly knit joints. Um, I caught this shoe and the previous shoe, both at a Nike outlet. I think I paid 55 or less for both shoes. Not together, but two different days. $55 for this shoe one day, 55 for the other shoe the other. This also got engineered for everyday, all day comfort insole as well. This is more of a hunter's green colorway with the leather swoosh on the medial and lateral side of the shoe and also on the tongue. Comfortable shoe, lightweight. There's only one pair I'm missing and that's like the multicolored versions, bro. I love those. Another pair of fly knit shoes I have and love are these Air Max 90s. These Air Max 90s are dope as well. Very comfortable. Still got the same engineer for all day, everyday comfort. That insole is also in these joints. This fly knit is also close knit on the toe box and also has more structure in the back. But this do have other materials on there. This has like a rubber back heel or a midsole look. Still lightweight, but these are definitely not as lightweight as those Air Force Ones. So it makes sense I got it on two pairs. This is also like another hunter green. Comfortable, I caught this and the previous shoe both at a Nike outlet as well. I believe $55 and under. Gotta love your fly knits, right? Gotta love them, man. I love them. I don't know about y'all, man. Y'all got any fly knit Air Force Ones? You guys got any fly knit Air Max 90s? Let me know in the comment section down below. On top of that, man, it's only right that I bring you to my favorite silhouette in the fly knit. So let's talk about these joints. These are my first fly knit Air Jordan 1. These are the band versions. These shoes actually took off pretty much of all the fly knits that dropped, these were the most highly anticipated and cop shoe. Even though a lot of people did not like these shoes and a lot of people still do not like them. Being a ones lover, so I decided to cop them. I do enjoy having these shoes. I did rock these shoes before. Actually, I rocked these shoes when my son was born. Um, this is the shoes I left in the hospital in when he was released. I rocked them maybe twice, if that. Comfortable shoe, lightweight, but not as light as those Air Force Ones and Air Max 90. All upper fly knit, multiple colors. Pattern on here is it's also close net, even though it shows that it's a wide net up front, but there's other materials underneath. It's probably cloth, I'm not sure if it's a fly knit. Sturdy in the back. Polyester is pretty much the material that they use for fly knit. It's very sturdy material. It's, I won't say it's cheap, because if you guys know, it's a lot of fly knit shoes are very, very expensive, man. And despite the fact that it kind of reduced the waste of material, they're charging abundance to make these shoes in the fly knit material, man. But anyways, band one, Air Jordan one, fly knit. The second cop on my list, you guys can find this throughout the Nike outlets, which are these Royal 
fly knit. A lot of people do not care for these. They're not interested. I see these throughout every Nike outlet. I just got to show love to this shoe, man. I love this shoe. A lot of people don't care for it. Man, I want people to actually jump on the wagon. I know I don't. No, I don't. Buy what you like, man. But in the day, I do like these. I love the fly knits. And this is my second pair. These are still DS though. Haven't rocked them. I'm not sure when I'm going to rock them. I got the bands and I also got the rolls. Uh, leather version so i'm not gonna force the fit for this shoe all fly knit upper similar to the band nothing more right other than the colorway so we move on to the next and final air jordan one fly knit when these joints drop i was like i'm gonna get them multicolors yeah, these are the wakanda's air jordan ones when the black panther dropped these were the shoes i rocked to the movies and that was the first and last time i rocked them you got the multicolor on the tongue, Black History Month logo on the inner tongue. Call these a Black History Month. So you can call these the Wakanda Air Jordan 1 joints. Red, black, green, and a hint of gold. Anyways, man, we're going to move on to the next set of fly knit shoes I have. Now, these fly knit shoes, I can't have any other way, man. It's only right that I cop them with fly knit. These shoes require you to play ball and fly knit. These shoes require the structure that fly knit brings. They need fly knit for the weight. And even if they can make these in abundance so they can cut the cost of the material used to make the fly knit on these shoes, I really, really appreciate it. But when you see these shoes, you're gonna know that that's not gonna happen because Kobe no longer played basketball. If I buy a Kobe basketball shoe, it must have fly knit. Not saying I don't own any, but if I'm a hoop in it, it got well, a lot too. I, I hoop in that. Well, anyways, I love the fly knit Kobe's, man. These are the Cheddar Nike ID Kobe tens with white laces. I caught these shoes for forty dollars at the Nike outlet in Kissimmee when they had a Nike ID sale. This is before they even broadcast the Nike ID sale to people. Now they paste it throughout the whole store, letting you know the date is gonna drop. First pair of Kobe's I had, and I actually start rocking them casually. To be fair, I actually never rocked them on a the court. I don't think I'm ever gonna rock them on a the court. I just love wearing them casually. They are a size small. I wish there was a twelve. These are eleven and a half, which brings me to another point. The fly knit, like the Air Force Ones you've seen and the Air Max 90, I go down in size because the material is stretchable, more for comfort. They're not made sturdy in the toe box area and as sturdy as a basketball shoe and the heel. But for basketball shoes, that's all about sturdy. You don't want to play no basketball in Air Max 90s. So these are close knit. On the toe box, they're like, I think fused, man, because it's, it's, it's not really breathable, as you can tell, especially on the back heel, on the cuff area as well. But yeah, $40, Kobe Cheddar's, Nike IDs, dope, dope, dope shoe. Then after that, I was lucky to cop these joints, man. These also came from Nike Outlet, but these joints came from the Nike Outlet in California. You see, Nike was allowing you to buy shoes over the phone. This is back in 2016. Before October 2016, you could pick up the phone, hit up Nike and be like, yo, let me make this order and they'll do it. They'll take your credit card over the phone and mail you your shoes. That has came and passed. So since 2016, October 2016, day I cut that out. You can no longer do that. I did find a workaround, which I made a hack, which was buying a gift card, call them up, speak to a manager and convince them to take your payment over the phone. Just to minimize all theft, especially over the phone, they, they cut it out. But anyways, that's a tangent I'm not gonna go into. But these are the Christmas Kobe's. These joints drop, I think 2016, the end of 2016, because these are also the Kobe 10s. And like I said, I copped them from California. I saw CJ City TV. He's a sneaker YouTuber that lives in California. He went to Nike out and he posts these shoes. And I called and copped them in my size. True size, size 12. This shoe is blessed. Rock these a couple times. I remember the first time I rocked these was to the trophy room in Orlando to pick up a pair of shoes. I only rocked Kobe's all 2016 and 2017 at the trophy room because I was superstitious. I always win the raffle when I rocking Kobe's to the trophy room or the pop-up shop to cop shoes. Anyways, Kobe Christmas. Cop these for like 129. Fly knit everything. Have never played basketball in these, but these shoes are dope. Don't think I would. These would be a casual worn shoe. And we about to wrap it up right here, man. Sorry for being long-winded and going on tangent throughout this video, man. But we got one more shoe we're going to get into that's fly knit. And again, it has to be fly knit because it's a basketball shoe. And I'm not going to play in anything less than fly knit basketball shoes. These are the Kobe 11s. I'm not even sure what you call these. I can't recall. But I caught these in Nike Outlet as well. I think I paid $69 for these. I actually played in these the first game this year 
in my adult basketball league, we won. I do play ball in these shoes. I do not wear them casually. So you'll see a lot of scuff marks throughout the shoe if you do see it. Colby 11s, fly knit everything. The toe box is 30, not as 30 as the 10s, but on the back heel cup it is 30 as well. Dope shoe. This is the last fly knit Colby shoe or signature shoe. Since he retired in 2017, was it 2017 he retired? He didn't play, so yeah, 2016 he retired. 2016 season he retired, so that was it for the fly knit signature shoes. You do have Kobe ADs, which does not carry the fly knit. I do own a pair, but it is not fly knit. I wish they bring the fly knit back out. Which got me to thinking, I do own some KDs and those are fly knit. So this video pretty much wraps it up, man. I'll show you about 10 pairs of fly knit shoes I own. I'm a sucker for fly knit. One for comfort is very lightweight. They are expensive. If they make the right shoe and fly knit, I most definitely cop. They did, in my opinion, with the Jordan 1s. May not be the most aesthetic looking shoe, but being a Jordan 1 fiend, I had to have them, man. So I copped them, copped three pairs. The only pair I'm looking for is the shadows. Definitely want to get the shadows and the fly knit. Another pair of fly knit Jordans I want to get are those threes. Those fly knit threes that dropped last week, I didn't even went for them. I was like, nah, I'm Gucci. I, I cop, I kept, I catch them later on the rebound, but they sold out. I did find a link that had a couple pairs, but they only had size 11, which got me to thinking because in fly knit, you can go down in the size if they're not basketball shoes, because the basketball shoes may be a little bit more crouched in the toe area. But the lifestyle shoes would be more loose. They're not the fighting is not gonna be as sturdy as one may think. Man, I'm running out of things to say. I can't think of anything else, man, other than if you like what you just saw, hit that subscribe button and notification bell as well. Everybody else, man, keep leaving your comments down below. You know your boys can get back to you as soon as possible. And you already know my slogan. If you don't, you're new to this channel, it's good to go. Peace. It's a wrap.